Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to our playthrough of Arkham Horror, the card game, where we are currently playing the Dunwich Legacy campaign. We are on our sixth scenario, which is undimensioned and unseen. Our intrepid investigators are Daisy Walker and Zoe Samaras, and they are currently tramping about the fields outside Dunwich, trying to find some horrific broods of young off and put an end to them but there are all sorts of beasties out on the moors that they've got to look out for they are currently in the devil's hop yard and uh, they're gonna get on with it and uh, try and kill as many of these broods as they can they have managed to find an esoteric formula Professor Armitage has sort of pulled it together from what they found in the ruins of Waitley Farm, so they're ready to go and cause some havoc. There was no actual, um, I don't think we made any great errors last turn, so we can get straight into episode 34, and uh, I think it will be round 62. So let's get straight into the laugh and the chuckle phase. And here we are at the laugh and chuckle phase, which means, yes, a doom. So we'll pop a doom out. We're on three doom, but the limit is five for rampaging creatures. So we're okay for the time being. And our, least, our lead investigator, Zoe, will get an encounter card. So let's see what she gets. Ruin and destruction, hazard, revelation. If there are no investigators at the same location as a brood of Yogg-Sothoth, there aren't. Ruin and destruction gain surge. Oh dear. Otherwise, each investigator at the same location as a brood of Yogg-Sothoth tests agility 3 for each point he or she fails by. He or she takes 1 damage. Well, it just gains surge. So, we'll pop that away. So, she gets another card and she gets... Oh, bloody whippoorwills. Don't we love the... We're definitely going to kill it this time. We've got the beat cop. So you're going down, chum. But we've seen these before. It's got um, two combat. It's only got one health and is four to evade. It's creature. So we can't use the esoteric uh, formula on it because it's not an abomination. It's aloof. It's a hunter. And as you know, we start losing um, willpower, intellect, combat and agility it's minus one because we've only got one whippoorwill but uh, yes that's a bit of bad news getting it now because we've still got to draw a card for daisy let's put it over here so it's over there being a menace talking of daisy she gets a card and remember if she's got to test anything it's going to be at minus one because of that whippoorwill and it's another whippoorwill <laughs> No! So he's got two whippoorwills. So everything's at minus two now. Oh, we are going to have to kill these. And uh, what else is it? We've got the lupine thrall as well that we've got to get rid of. Oh, well, never mind. Right, well, that definitely means that we're going to have Zoe go first because she's got a bit to do. Okay, yeah, uh, let's get straight into the investigation phase and uh, meet Zoe. And here we are with Zoe. So I've moved it across slightly. I still want to keep everything in because we're going to do some fun and games. And first of all, what she's going to do for her first action is she's actually going to use Dynamite. So we're going to pay five for this event. And Dynamite Blast Tactic, choose either your location. Well, we're not going to do that. Or a connecting location. Yes, we're going to choose the Blasted Heath. We're going to deal three damage to each enemy and to each investigator at the chosen location. So we're going to do three damage to the Lupine Thrall and we're going to blow it up. That is what we're going to do. That's going to cost us five. So let's make sure we pay for it. So she spent all her resources to chuck a stick of dynamite up onto the blasted heath. And that gets rid of this chap. So we'll get rid of that. So that saved us a bit of hassle. What is she going to do for her next action? Well, for her next action, 
she is going to engage one of these whippoorwills. So let's engage one of the whippoorwills, bring it down here. She's engaged it and very quickly what we're going to do is as a free action when we engage it we're going to do this we're going to exhaust beat cop and deal one damage to it deal one damage to an enemy at your location so we've done that we've exhausted that that does the requisite one damage and we have killed one of the whippoorwills now we've still got an action left it's not we can't really um, if we engage the whippoorwill then uh, we're not going to be able to deal with it because uh, we'd need an action to actually um, attack it which I don't think we have so we're going to have to think of something else or can we I've just got to check that won't be a second Yes, we'd just be able to engage it, we wouldn't be able to fight it. Fight is another type of action. So we've got one action left. I think what we will do is give the Whippoorwill a bit of a run around. So for her final action, she is actually going to move. And we'll put her at Blasted Heath. There we go, so she has moved. That is it for Zoe's action, so next up it will be Daisy Walker. And here we are with Daisy. What to do, what to do, what to do? Well, first of all, what we'll do is we will use her free tome action. We will use Old Book of Law, as normally. And we'll have a look at the top three cards of her deck. So she's got Unexpected Courage, always nice. Zebulon and hyper awareness which is also nice so which to take i don't think we'll take zebulon we'll put him back in but unexpected courage or hyper awareness i think we will keep oh this is a, a because I could probably use Unexpected Courage now. Yes, we'll keep Unexpected Courage. Hyper Awareness is an excellent card. Hopefully we'll get it later on. But, uh, yes, we'll go for Unexpected Courage. Because we've got the Whippoorwill with us. And uh, it's annoying. So, we took Unexpected Courage. That is our free Tome action. For our first normal action, we're going to investigate for some of these clues. There are two clues on the Devil's Hop Yard. It has a shroud of two. Now, we have six intellects, but we've got to take one off because of the Wimper Will. So it's five versus two. Now, that's good. Those are good odds. So I think we'll go with five versus two and try and pick up one of these clues. We would need a minus three or better. And we get a zero. So, that's a clue. It's also a resource because of Dr. Christopher, which is excellent. We're going to spend another of her actions, and we're going to do exactly the same. So we need a minus three or better, and we get a zero again. That'll do. So that is cool. We've picked up all of those clues at... The Devil's Hop Yard. What is she going to do for a final option? Yes, you have guessed it. She is going to move over here. So she has gone to the Blasted Heath as well. There's another couple of clues over there that she can pick up. Plan is, obviously, to have the Whippoorwill follow, which will do in the enemy phase. And then Zoe can kill it next turn with the help of Beat Cop. Always assuming that something bad doesn't come out of the woodwork and uh, throw our plans into chaos, which probably will happen, to be honest. Okay, so that is it for our investigation phase. Next up is the enemy phase.
And here we are at the enemy phase. We'll do the Whippoorwill first, why not? So obviously it's a hunter, so it's going to follow both of us and go to the Blasted Heath. Next up is the Brood of Yogg-Sothoth. And that means we get to roll a die. Hooray. So same as usual. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we get... Ooh, a one. So it goes to Dunwich Village. So it's getting closer. It is getting closer. So we'll pop it down here. We'll straighten it up after. But uh, there we go. The brood of Yogs of Thoth is in the streets of Dunwich Village, which I'm sure is delighting all of the populace. Well, perhaps the bishops. Perhaps the bishops are very chuffed, but uh, I doubt anybody else is. All right, so that is it for the enemy phase. Next up is the upkeep phase. And here we are at the upkeep phase. So first of all, let's refresh cards. We get the uh, old book of law back. We get Beatcock back. And we get all of our actions back. So there we go. Super smashing, lovely, great. So it's now it's pull cards, is it not? So Zoe goes first, one card, and she gets double or nothing. So this may be useful. This may be useful to play on Daisy because she's got higher education and things like that. So she can really bump up um, some of her tests. And then if we play double or nothing, we've got a chance of doubling up. So we'll pop that here. And a resource. So Zoe's back to a single resource. Then it is Daisy. And she gets a shortcut. Awesome. We love shortcut. So we'll put that down here. Should help us whiz around the uh, map a little. So that's cool. And of course, let's not forget that she gets a, another resource. Did I remember the resource for the second clue? I didn't, did I? Otherwise, yes, because I had one resource to start with. So, yeah, got to add the other resource for the second clue we picked up because of Dr. Christopher. What, what was I saying about getting better? Bloody rubbish. But uh, anyway, I've caught it now. All right, uh, that means that is the end of this round. I'm going to go and upload this and uh, just edit, just check if I've made any errors in that round. Uh, in addition to one that I nearly made there. And then I'll come back, I think, with round 63 and we will carry on. And here we are at round 63 and the laugh and chuckle phase, which means, yes, we put a doom down. We're at four, but the doom limit is currently at five, so that's okay. Right, oh, so what's next? It's drawing encounter cards. So our lead investigator is Zoe, so she goes first and she gets eager for death. <laughs> Omen. Revelation. Test Willpower 2. Increase this skill test difficulty by 1 for each damage on you. Well, she hasn't got any, that's good. If you fail, take 2 horror. We could do with passing this. We could do with passing this. She hasn't got much sanity. But she's got good willpower, I believe. Her willpower is 4. Does she get any benefits from anywhere? We could play Guts, but I don't fancy doing that. Four against two. I think that's that's good odds. We've only got one brood on the board, so let's go for it. Four versus two, and we get a minus one. That'll do. We needed a minus two or better, so uh, funky doodle. We got rid of eager for death. Let's get rid of that. And next it is Daisy. What does she get? 
Sordid and silent. Revelation. Attached sordid and silent to your location. Forced. At the end of the round, each investigator at the attached location takes one horror. We could do without that. Forced. When the agenda advances, discard sordid and silent. That's okay, because the it's going to advance next turn. So, uh, that's okay. We'll get rid of it quite quickly. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to move now, which is a bit of a pain. So, we'll just put that there. And, uh, yes, minor pain, because it means we're going to have to move, because I don't want to take a horror. All right, that is it for the Mythos phase. Next up, it will be the Investigation phase, and because of that Whippoorwill, we'll have Zoe go first. <laughs> And here we are at the investigation phase for her first action she is yes she is going to engage the whippoorwill so I've got all of him ready and he is now in her threat area and we're going to play the same trick with beat cop we're going to uh, play this fast action here exhaust beat cop we're going to deal a damage and we're going to get rid of the whippoorwill hurrah we don't like whippoorwills, and we've got rid of him. So that's brilliant. And we've got two actions left. Now, what to do, what to do. Now, we've got to move, but obviously we're not going to move to the brood of Yogg-Sothoth. I wanted to stay put, because I was hoping that the brood of Yogg-Sothoth would uh, sort of come to us next turn. But uh, now we're going to have to move, because I don't like that sordid and silent so do a move now or do we do something i'll tell you what we'll do we'll pick a card first so want to pick a card don't want to pick a card on the last action so we'll pick it now and we get taunt so fast play only during your turn engage any number of enemies at your location it may come in you steal your nerves and shout into the darkness, come and get me. Yes, that sounds like Zoe. So it'll cost one, it's an event, it's got a willpower icon and a combat icon. Okay, it's an event, so it goes down here. All right. So we've still got one action and we're going to move. So uh, let's go up to the map. And here we are at the map. So yes, Zoe's got to move. We don't want her getting a nasty horror so she has moved to the devil's hop yard and that was her final action right next up it is our friend daisy and here we are with daisy now i've just moved blasted heath down so we can see it so it's got three shroud but it does have two clues and we want those clues we want them desperately so we've got uh dr Mine, christopher all that good stuff but first of all Let's use our free tome action and we will exhaust Old Book of Law once again and have a look at the top three cards here. We have Arcane Studies, always good. Another shortcut and a perception. So I think we will take Arcane Studies out of that little lot. Put these away. And we'll give this a shuffle. We give it a better shuffle now. That was a weakness that uh, flashed up, I think. It was white. So there we go. And I don't think she's... Has she pulled a weakness yet, Daisy? I don't think she has. So uh, we do one of those shortly. But Arcane Studies it is an asset. Cost two. Willpower, intellect icons, it's a talent, and as a fast action, you can spend one resource, get plus one willpower, or as a fast action, you spend one resource and get plus one intellect. The willpower could be very, very useful to us, so we'll put that up here. That is great, that was her first action. For her second action, we're obviously going to try and pick up those two clues here. Shroud of three, we've got an intellect of six. I think six versus three is good enough. So first action, we need a minus three or better. And we get a minus three, Whew, just. 
So we pick up that clue that gives us four. We're going to do exactly the same again for our second action. Minus three or better, and we get a skull. We've only got one brood of Yogg-Sothoth. So I believe that is minus one. It is. So we pick up that clue. Brilliant. We've got loads of clues. Five clues. Blasted Heath can go back up here, along with Sordid and Silent. And yes, having put that back up there, we're going to use our final action and she's going to move as well. So let's get up to the board. And here we are at the board. So we don't want Sordid and Silent to kick in. So there we go. She has moved along with Zoe back to the Devil's Hop Yard. As I say, that's a bit of a blow. Did want the Brood of Yogg-Sothoth to move, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to put up with it. Okay, so that is it for Daisy and Zoe and their investigation phase. Next up is the enemy phase. And here we are at the enemy phase. Now we've only got one enemy. It is the Brood of Yogg-Sothoth that is at our Dunwich village. Let's roll a die, see where it's going to go. Two. Oh, it did go to Blasted Heath. Oh. So we're going to move that across here into Blasted Heath. And Sordid and Silent is probably going to disappear almost certainly at the start of the next episode. But the brood of Yogg-Sothoth is at Blasted Heath. That is it for the enemy phase. Next up is the upkeep phase. And here we are, the upkeep phase. All righty then. So, first things first, let's unexhaust these cards, refresh them, knock everything over, and give ourselves our actions back. Right, there we go. Now it's pick cards, Zoe first, she's lead investigator, and she gets another overpower. So it's all it's all skills and events for Zoe down here. So there we go. Pop those down there. And she's got one, two, three, she's got six cards, so her hand size is fine. We give her a resource, which reminds me. We picked up two clues, so Daisy gets two resources from Dr. Christopher. Always forget about that until the upkeep phase, but I've remembered now. Now Zoe picks a card, and she gets medical text. This is excellent. We could put that in her hand as well. Cost two, it's an asset, and obviously, yes, it's got a combat icon, item tome for an action, choose an investigator at your location, test your intellect for two. If you succeed, heal one damage from the investigator. If you fail, deal one damage to that investigator. Brilliant, so let's put it down here. She's got eight cards, but that's cool. Uh, she's still within her hand limit, and she gets an extra resource. So now she's got seven resources. So she's got plenty of fuel for higher education and for arcane studies, if we can put that up. So that is coolness. Okay, that is it, I think. I think I remembered all the resources eventually. We are currently in the Devil's Hop Yard, and we've got to get around. We've got to kill uh, one of these broods now instead of messing around. We've got a few clues, we've got plenty of resources on Daisy, and we have got Zoe who is just itching, itching to tackle one of these brutes, brutes, broods, and uh, brutish broods, she wants to tackle them. So uh, we will get the agenda though, kicking over, 
start of next episode we'll get five doom so uh, i think that brings another brood out so we'll have two on the board which is which isn't good so i was hoping to kill one before it kicked over but that sordid and silent put a bit of a kibosh on that so we'll see okay anyway that is the end of episode 34 thank you so much for watching thank you for all the subscriptions for all the views for the likes and the dislikes and thank you for all the help and support as ever yes if you've noticed an error uh, please let me know and i will do my best to try and fix it i know i still make them but uh, that's just the way it is i'm not a rules channel i am just play the game channel and play it like getting it wrong channel so uh, <laughs> if you do spot any, please let me know. Um, other than that, if you're watching this at Board Game Links, thank you so much. Similarly, if you're watching this at Board Game Geek on the video threads over there, thank you. Any likes here, there, anywhere, any comments here, there and anywhere, thank you for those. Geek Gold and all that sort of stuff, you're most, you're just too kind. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you next time, because next time will be episode 35, and we will still be playing Undimensioned and Unseen. I hope to see you then, but until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.